Welcome back to Coding with ADT. And in this video, we will be making the layout for Tic Tac Toe. After you download Android Studio, you will then click on Start a New Android Studio Project. After you click on that, you will then click on Empty Activity and click on Next. In the name, you can write whatever you want. I will be writing Tic Tac Toe. YouTube. Make sure your language is on Kotlin because that's what we'll be using. And you can use whatever you want for the SDK, but I will be using API 16 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. And after you do all of that, you can then click on Finish. It will take a while to load, but it's all right. Now, these are certain areas. The class allows us to type code for I activity. And this line of code right here connects our class into this activity. First thing we would do to make it is we'll click on this text view. We will bring it up. And delete the string and we can write tick tack so see on the attributes when you click on the area the button or text view you're using you can see on the side it says attributes which allows us to edit it we can go to text size, which allows us to make it bigger. We're going to use 42 SP. And the color will be black. We will make it into bold. We can move it down or up, or if you want it to be. Now we'll say tic-tac-toe. We'll give this tic-tac-toe an ID. So you then go to split it, or you can do it in design. I like to use the code area while looking at it. Well, you can do whatever you want. You will then click on I, you will then type I and D, and the first thing that will pop up is Android ID. Then you click on Enter, and you click that. You will name it Title, and there we go. Next thing we will be using is a grid layout. Well, grid layout allows us to make a grid or tic-tac-toe, columns and rows. So in this grid layout, we are going to have the row count and we're going to put three and column count, which will then put three. After that, we're then going to go into design, get the button area right here, and drag it into grid layout. After we have that, we then go into the code and delete this text because we do not need it right now. We can name this button B1 and make the row layout 0 and row Lay the column layout zero, which allows us to place them in. Like X and Y, we click on the, where we want for X and where we want for Y. That's why we're doing it this way. After that, we're then going to copy this. Paste eight more times. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Well, let's go to the second one you copied and change the number one to two and change the column to one. Or we'll change the everything else, just 
keep going it down. Once you get to number four, you're not going to change the column, but you're going to change the row. So do that for number five as well. Change the change the row and also change the column. Number six, change the row and change the column. And number seven, change the row. Change don't change the column. Change the row. And change the column, change the row, and change the column, which then will get this. Go into the grid layout, drag the strings to either side, and boom. We're going to make these buttons a bit bigger. Which is layer width and layer height in the attributes. And to click on all of them at once, you're going to click on the control widget. And then you click on everything you want to use. Do you do that? Go to go to the width and let's say 52 dp. It allows us to change the side DPs like um, the length and we can, not, 52 is too small. We can maybe change this to 82. Yeah. So don't do what I did. Click on to the contract layout. You, all we just want is the buttons. After we have the buttons, we're then going to change it to 82 dp. No, 102 dp by 102. Now it's getting the shape of it. We're going to add another text view. And connect all the strings to the left and the right, and then connect the top string to the bottom of tic tac toe title. We're going to change this text into nothing, but change this ID into decision. Or choice. Or winner. Whatever you choose, so you know what to use it for. We're then going to go into the, the common attributes for the textile board, text color, black, and text size. We're going to make the same exact size as the title, which will be 42. This will also be 42. Then we're going to drag it a bit down and we're going to connect the grid layout to the bottom of the text view. Now that we have that there, we're going to write a text, say play all one on. It'll show up. You can also change the background. If you keep going down into all attributes, you can click onto that triangle and you can see background. You can put in any color you want. I'm going to choose yellow, bright yellow. You can also add in the color by hand. And we can also change the big background. But play on. All we need to do is go to the background again and we can change it into blue. Change it into light blue. Also change this text into yellow as well.
Let's make it a bit wide so we can put spaces on both sides. Like it spreads it out. You can change the background to anything you want. And there we go. Then delete this text. And that's how we will be making the layout for tic-tac-toe. Next video, we will be using the buttons for a, a certain click that the button will show up X and O back and forth. Well, thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, give it a like, and thank you. Bye.